Hey, how's it going? This is Matthew Ashton. This is my week three uh, widget app preview for MDF3. Let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I have my app here running on the home screen. Two options, either refresh a list or add new game. Let's go ahead and click add new game. So clicking that brings up the form. Um, let's go ahead and we can enter. I know that the, the Bucks are actually playing the Falcons right now. Today's the 18th. Uh, that's the NFL. And start time, I believe it was 8.30. So if we go in a quick save game, it brings up my list where you can then click on an item to get the corresponding detail information. Now, if we were to go back to the home screen, I couldn't get this to update automatically. However, if you do hit refresh list, we now have the options with the updated game added. And again, clicking on it will bring up the detail list. And then obviously navigating back and forth. So let's go ahead and go through this. So um, yes, it does indeed use a widget uh, as a collection view to show data on the home screen. Um, it is kept up to date, but only with the manual refresh. Let me see, clicking on the refresh button. And then you do have, again, the ability to click on an item and bring up the specific details directly from the widget. And again, clicking add new game, like I said, brings up the form to add it. Um, and again, here we have the application displays list upon app launch um, and the two buttons here. Now data storage, if we actually go uh, into my, oh, and fragments are used in the um, application uses fragments wherever possible. I got fragments all over the place, um, fragment, fragment, fragment. And I do indeed actually have three separate screens or three separate views for the add list and uh, detail. Now um, here, as you can see, um, I'm sorry, on the game, it does implement serial, serializable. And then when it is stored in the game must fragment, it is saved to a file. Um, and then it is read as an object and everything goes back through it, getting all the information for each item. Um, and it is passed back and forth as um, a serializable. And I know that here in this, as you can see, data is storage and is persist between app launches um, and it's a collection of serializable objects, which indeed it is. So cool, yeah, so that's my project for this week. And again, I got fragments all over the place for the different you know, add detail and list. And here's my widget factory. Um, again, the remote views is what populates with the information. Um, it took me a little bit to get used to the exact definition of where to put different things for clicking on items. But this is my refresh widget button. And this is my add game widget button, passing in different intents and using pending intents to make that happen. And then also having a service to kind of keep things updated. But I couldn't really get the constant update to work properly. Cool, yeah, so that's my app for this week. Again, thought I did a pretty good job. Got almost all the functionality down. And yeah, like I said, it was a really great week. That's it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week for week four of MDF3. Again, this is Matthew Ashton.